When I had my kids, it was like, that changed everything. Right. Well, the things you won't do for yourself, you do for your kids. And are we protecting our children the way that we never got to have that protection? Right, definitely. Drew Barrymore is getting emotional while talking to Pamela Anderson about raising children in Hollywood. The duo sat down for a heart-to-heart -heart during the Baywatch alum's appearance on The Drew Barrymore Show and reflected on how they try to protect their children despite being famous parents. It's funny, my kids didn't know they had a security guard at school. I hired someone to be an assistant PE instructor yes. just to be there because people were trying to take them off the schoolyard. I had to find clever ways to kind of make them feel everything was normal, but I needed to know eyes were on them and not, you know, and I was not going to take that chance. The candid conversation brought Drew to tears as she shared that she strives to give her daughters a normal upbringing. I so understand. I get it. Yeah. Don't f with my kids. This is not okay. They didn't sign up for this. Yeah, it's sad. It's hard. It's, like, they it's have so to... hard. I know. I know. It's and hard. I just, I... But you're going to get through You, You got it. You got it now. I mean, this is... this. How is... did you get through it? Because you raised these incredible boys. You have to be careful that social media and everything. And, and then there's boys, that layer. There's I'm that, like, yeah. oh, I love having kids in this day and age. And maybe our whole lives were the best things for setting us up as parents. We just have to make sure that women know how to make themselves safe from very young girls. I also feel like um, anything that you do that might have put yourself out there yeah. in a sexual way gives you also no protection. Right, and for I knew that. everything is fair game. No right to privacy. No is what right I was to. Told. Yes, and that I probably wanted the attention when the tapes were stolen and put out there. That I, they, I remember going to a deposition and they had naked pictures of me everywhere, saying, "You like this? What kind of sexual positions do you like?" And I was pregnant with Dylan. Pam, whose interview is set to air on the talk show on Friday, sat down with the host to chat about her new Netflix documentary and got honest with the Charlie's Angels alum about why she still struggles to fall in love with someone who is not the father of her two sons. It's just that connection that you don't have with anybody else and people may say that they can get past it, but I can't. I haven't been able to. And that's okay. I don't even care if I'm alone the rest of my life. I've experienced really wonderful, loving moments and sometimes things don't last forever for a reason and it's, it's okay. It's fine. It's okay, in the last year I spent alone, I think it's been the happiest year of my life. During the interview, Drew also asked the 55-year-old if she would ever consider starring in a future season of White Lotus, after fans took to social media to suggest she join the cast of the HBO hit show. Really I just do. Like I said, something great is just around the corner. Would you be open I don't to know. that? I don't know. I mean, I just feel like this is, this is a... It's such an interesting time. I just kind of want to see what it, I, I would love to do something. Like I said, when I did Broadway, I just wanted to know what I was capable of. I didn't know if I could sing, if I could dance, if I could act on stage in front of everybody. I just want to push myself. So I think that would be an incredible challenge.